Good evening, everyone. Long time no talk. Um, this is Mike Chi. First of all, a big thank you to everyone that supported the Retro Tank 2X project. It's uh, succeeded beyond what I could possibly have hoped, and I'm just really happy this little hobby of mine has made a dent in the retro gaming community. Tonight, I am going to go over how to capture VHS video with the 2X. Now, the 2X really isn't designed for VHS capture. Um, its low latency video chip means that it doesn't really have the buffering or the capabilities to do the advanced comb filtering that a lot of off-the-shelf video capture solutions can. But having said that, if you have the 2X and you want to capture VHS tapes, this is how you would go about doing it. First, you want to make sure that the video mode is on, is on composite. If you have the older firmware, that's CVBS. If you have the newer firmware, be sure to set it to CVBS Retro, which is all three lights on, to get the best possible video filtering. First, we're going to use the Elgato HD60S to capture video, which means that we have to set the 2X in line doubling mode for 480p output. Later on, we'll switch to Datapath Vision E1 card, but let's just start with the Elgato because it seems like a lot of people have this uh, capture device. Okay, we've got the game capture software up. And uh, right now we have the blue screen from the VCR in stop mode, and we're going to hit play. One, two, um, we've got three. Fox and the Hound loaded no, up. Let's just hope v uh, Disney doesn't decide to take this video down due to copyright infringement. One, you might two, notice the video is a little bit blocky looking, um, so we should turn on the smoothing filter. Looks quite a bit better. I know a lot of you guys don't like smoothing for retro games, but the smoothing option really, I think, does a good job for line doubled video to. Um, eliminate the jaggies. It's not as good as full deinterlacing, but um, for something when really simple, I think this works pretty well. A happy game. Now VHS tapes have notoriously bad sync, um, so sometimes, right here when you pause, it can throw the video off. So I wouldn't recommend uh, pausing the video at any point. I mean, if you're capturing it, you really don't need the VHS player to generate stills. But in this case, it seemed to recover. But like I said, generally, if you're doing video captures, keep it playing. Let's not introduce discontinuities. If you want to fast forward or rewind, I recommend hitting the stop button on the VCR to go to the default blue screen so you have a stable video output. Fast forwarding and, and, uh, or re rewinding to where you want to go, and then hitting the play button. Don't fast forward or rewind while the video is playing. Okay, now let's go from the uh, screen cap to the actual video output as captured by the Elgato. Hey, the dinky! The dinky! Quick! Over here! I got him! I got him! Do I look like a wine? That's who we're after! Overall, this is not Come too on. bad um, for what it is, which is VHS video, given its limitations. And uh, at least in 480p, Look, the Elgato system creep. seems to be pretty easy to use. Warm and cozy by the fire. <laughs> Some of you more advanced users may want to capture 480i 15 kHz signals and then deinterlace in software. For this more advanced use case, I've switched to the Datapath Vision E1 card and OBS Studio. The game capture software by Elgato doesn't support 480i, and the Elgato capture card works with OBS but seems to have some serious stability issues. So, for me at least, the Datapath card seemed a much better choice. Here I've set the RetroTINK 2X to pass-through mode by pressing the mode button and making sure both LEDs are off. First, I start up the Vision uh, Datapath software and I want to make sure all the input settings are correct. The big one to watch out for is color space. Generally, if you're using the latest RetroTINK 2X, it should be YUV601 Limited. If you're using the old ones, it should be RGB. It's pretty easy to tell. If the colors are off, try the other setting. Everything else should remain to their, as their default values. Going to add the video capture device, which is the data path. We're also going to need to, need to add the audio capture device, which would be the sound card. I also like to turn on the um, audio monitoring option so I can hear what's going on as I'm capturing the video. Next, I go into the settings, into the video options, and I make sure the video resolution is 720 by 480 standard definition, and I set the frame rate to 59.94 standard NTSC. 
Now I'm going to go to the output transform scale settings and I'm going to make the video input scale to the output. And with that I am ready to capture. Hit the play button on the VCR. One of the weird things about the data path vision and the OBS is that when you start or stop the video sometimes the color space settings get messed up so you have to go back in and manually set that. It's annoying but uh, once you know what to look for, it should be pretty easy to work around. Okay, now I'm going to turn on the deinterlacer. Try this setting called Yadif. Can't claim to be the expert in deinterlacing, although to be honest, at least this deinterlace mode doesn't quite look as good as the Elgato Capture in 480p. Let's try something else. I think um, I'll need to experiment with these settings a little bit more, and of course you should try the settings yourself to find the, um, the mode that best suits your purpose. <laughs> right, now I've set it to Blend 2x deinterlacer. Personally, this is my favorite. Um, although, again, is it really better than the 480p in Elgato? It's debatable. But I'll say, of all the settings, um, probably wouldn't use Retro. This looks worse than the uh, Retro Team 2X line doubled without the smoothing filter. So let's set it back to Blend 2X. Okay, let's switch to some direct capture. Hey! Hey! How's he do that, Dinky? How's he do that? And this concludes the tutorial. Like I said, the Retro Team 2X really isn't the optimal solution for capturing VHS footage, but if you have the 2X and you have old VHS tapes, this is how you would go about doing so. Hope you enjoyed this and hope it was helpful. Um, until next time. Oh, come on, Chief. Just because you're not sitting up front, that ain't no reason to be a short.